I'm Ewan Ashley. I'm Associate Professor of Cardiovascular Medicine and Genetics and by courtesy the Department of Pathology at Stanford University and the Medical Center. Uh, I'm also a Director of the Clinical Genomics Service at Stanford and of the Center for Inherited Cardiovascular Disease. I am an MD PhD but coming from Scotland initially none of my degrees are called MD or PhD. Uh, I uh, have a medical degree from the University of Glasgow in Scotland. I have a PhD from the University of Oxford in England and I completed my medical training in cardiology at Stanford University here in California. My lab is, is principally focused on thinking about the genetic basis of cardiac disease, but also we're very focused on developing computational algorithms for the interpretation of the human genome, in particular to be applied broadly to medicine. So we have both computational components in the lab as well as a wet lab, so we have people who are growing heart cells and looking at hearts in a dish and uh, thinking about stem cell technology. Uh, and ultimately we want to connect the genetic diagnosis of disease with the potential development of new therapy. I think we'll increasingly see genome sequencing being brought to the bedside of more and more patients and being relevant for more and more patients. I think in particular we'll start to see cancer come through where we're sequencing cancers and thinking about being more precise about the therapy we can give to cancer patients. But then also I think we'll go much broader than cancer and think about using pharmacogenomics, the, the influence of, of the, the genome on prescribing decisions by doctors to really start to personalize medicine for everyone. And so I think that the genomic technology will really start to impact every corner of medicine over the next five or 10 years. Yeah.